Use this method to splice Uniline cable. The tools you'll need to splice Uniline are a knife, heavy duty wire strippers, tape measure, a white marker, twine, and a clamp. Using the white marker, place a mark on the Uniline 120 cable diameters up from the bitter end of the line. In this example, we are splicing 5 8 inch diameter Uniline, so the mark is made at 75 inches. Slide whatever you're going to use to protect the splice onto the rope now. Run your wire stripper around the circumference of the cable, trying to cut only the jacket strands and the underlying rubber layer. Run the stripper to the bitter end of the cable. Bend the cable, exposing the core. Strip the cover off all the way back to the white mark and cut it. Lay out the eye size you need, tape, and then clamp to hold it in place while you continue the splice. It is best to support the cable off the bench between two tie-off points now to make the splice go easier and more quickly. Separate the core strands into four equal size bundles. Using your marker, mark up the cable, two spaces each being nine cable diameters, then six spaces equal to six cable diameters, plus three spaces equal to four cable diameters. In our 5 8 diameter example, this works out to be 5 and 5 8 inches, 3 and 3 quarter inches, and 2 and 1 half inches respectively. A complete table of diameters is shown, which does the calculations for you and predicts the finished length of the splice for all sizes of Uniline. Wrap one of your four core bundles, even with the marks. Keep the yarn bundles flat to make a more effective splice. Tape the bundle at the last mark. Cut at the tape. Now repeat with the second of your four bundles, this time wrapping in the opposite direction. Keep the bundles crossing evenly and at the same intervals as your first wrap. Tape the tail, cut it as you did the first bundle. Whip the tails with twine. Now wrap your third bundle slightly short of each mark. Run this bundle right over your whipping, tape, and cut. Repeat in the opposite direction with bundle four. Now whip both bundles three and four. Remove the clamp and whip the throat of the splice. Last, protect the exposed yarn in the spliced area by sliding a heat shrink tube over it and shrinking it with a heat gun. A heat shrink tube with hot melt adhesive pre-applied inside is recommended. Alternatively, you can whip the entire splice and then saturate the whipping with latex available from Yale.